so I'm back with the week two of 6x6 She's Crafty Paper Pad uh, Party. And this is a series where we pulled five paper pads from our stash. We were supposed to put two background papers with it, pull some thickers or some tchotchkes with it, uh, whatever you felt. You could make a big kit, you could make a little kit. I chose to go with three background papers, minimal tchotchkes, minim minimal thickers, and uh, I picked out five paper pads. Last week I did a, layout, a two page layout, which I'll link below with this Honey I Am Home, We Are Memory Keepers paper pad. Um, and then I'm gonna use it again this week to use it up. Give you a quick flip through. Hopefully this won't flip too. Yeah, that's what happened last time. There we go. Be quick. So this is what I'm using again this week for sketch two. Um, like I said, very minimal uh, tchotchkes were pulled. I got some storytellers. I got some Amy Tan in here. Um, just stuff that was laying on my desk. Some more storytellers. There's some Dear Lizzie. Some scratch pieces of paper. Um, what else I did is I had these little containers. And I went through stuff that was laying on my desk. And if it went with the paper pad, because this paper pad is not very bright. It's uh, off-white. I'm not a fan of mixing it together. I know you can do whatever you want in scrapbooking, and I choose not to mix white and cream because I, I, to, it's not to my taste. Um, so I went and I got some off-white embellish, embellishments there, and I put in there. So we got the sketch last night. Very excited. We got it a little early, actually. So I was in my scrapbooking room, and I was all excited. So I started cutting the paper pad papers down and picking them. Did not use as many this time. I think I used three um, this time, but I'm not done designing it. This is as far as I got. Uh, this is a sketch in time. That's T-H-Y-M-E sketch. Um, I do have two photos and I'm going to use this third photo as my journaling. And the story is my dog. Um, we got a new truck. And she was in the front seat. I laid down a towel. She thought she was the captain of the new truck and that life was grand until I got out. And then I seen her put her uh, nails on the upholstery. And then she was banished from the seat and is now driving on the floorboards. And she's not happy about that. But, you know, it's a brand new truck. So <laughs> I thought I would scrapbook about that. Um, this is very busy paper. This is the other side. And um, so I went through the paper pad. And I tried to pull out uh, the least busy paper that I could. So, and I still may take some white acrylic paint and um, soften the background of this a little bit. Um, we'll see. I, I have some plans. And as I lay this down, I'll, I'll explain what I'm talking about. So this, I just took this wood grain and I cut it in half. So it's three inches, three by six. Um, the sketch did not have these on here but I had this extra. So I decided that I'm gonna put a little capper on top of here, just to add some more color and take away from some of the words. Um, the hearts, that was not as graphic as some of the other stuff. And I think this might've been an inch and I just cut this, I'm not sure what size this is, I just made sure I had the two hearts on both rows. Um, and then I had a little banner. So this I pulled from um, my scratch paper, actually, um, scrap paper that was laying on my desk from the crop. So that goes there. I'm going to put that here. This was a card that I cut off. I needed the top part and this is funny. So it is what a laugh. I thought maybe I could put that underneath here, something like that. So maybe underneath the hearts probably would be better. it's not covering up the hearts um and then I thought I would never use these I've had these in my stash these are from he said she said it's a piece of it's a 12 by 12 that came out and you punch them out but they're not stickers so I'm going to use these as that flag down at the bottom now I know it doesn't curve um the way it was but I was dreading doing that because I'm not really a banner type of person because I don't like cutting all those out um, so I'm just going to put them here just like that. All right. 
And let's show my photos here. So this is our Frenchie being the captain of the truck. And then here she is demoted down to the floorboard. As you can see, she's not very happy about that. Poor little pup. Um, so I have that. I also felt that something up here was needed. So I decided to do original that was in my container here, right? And then we have this third photo that I'm going to do journaling on. So as you can see, it's hard to see everything with this paper. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put my title down here. Um, I'm not using this piece of paper. This is just a placeholder. Um, until I figure out what I'm going to do. And I think uh, I'm going to put something like fun and games, all fun and games or something like that until it's over. Um, then I thought, hmm, something's not, I got to figure out a way to make this more subtle. So then I was like, okay, I'm adding some pops of black, or I'm sorry, brown in. So I thought, eh, maybe I could add it up here. All right. And then I thought maybe I could do it down here as well. And I could notch these and make them flags. So that's looking a little better, I think. Um, I am going to ink everything as well in brown. I found this little pup in the Amy Tan package. I may leave that there. I may not. I'm not sure. Um, it's not the same type of dog as our French Bulldog, but I, I don't think that really makes a difference. I'm on the fence on that. Then I also thought, what about if I backed everything in the brown? So what about if I um, did this wood grain with brown around it, brown around this, and brown around that? And then I thought to myself, that's a lot of work. I probably won't do that. Um, but I may just take a brown strip and then just put it as like a band design and then just have the wording up here and down here. Like I said, jury's still out. I may just ink everything and lay it down and uh, map my pictures in brown. The more I'm looking at this right now, the more I'm liking it. Um, so we will see, but I will be back with my finished layout. Hi, I'm back and this is my final layout for the uh, six by six paper pad party. And, um, I'm really happy how it came out. I was a little concerned about the text in the background was going to overtake the photos, but I decided to put a uh, brown mat around it. And like I said, I did my inking. I was a little heavy with the inking. Um, so it kind of stood out a little more from the text background. Um, I used this dark brown. I'm not sure what color it is because I put my uh, daubers over it, but it, that's a Tim Holtz Distress. Um, I tried to go with the um, layout principles of threes. So I have my yellow in three, I have the red in three, my clusters are in threes. So I think that adds to it as well. I got my banners here. Um, I, I put in a few little, if she's happy here, don't judge me. I didn't want to put too much text in, obviously, because um, I have this background that is very full of text. So I, I'm going to call this one a success. Week two completed. Um, what more can you ask for? Now I'm off to watch the Browns game um, and I will see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.